going on guys got a work order saying the oven's not working and no matter if they put it on bake or broil uh, they get no heat inside the oven here um, all the stovetop burners work fine so let's see here we'll put the oven to bake just let it at 350 or I'll turn it up a little bit go 400 hit start it says it's preheating and our bake element is the bottom one here and the broil element is the top one up there so this is the one that should be coming on and it's ice cold okay let's try it on broil Let's see if our broil element here heats up. And it's not doing anything either. So we got good information. Uh, from the resident normally if the oven's not working you get a work order and one of the other is working and the other's not so like say your bake's not working but the broil is or vice versa then normally you got a bad element but when they're both not working it's normally your control board here so let's pull the oven out Now we're going to go ahead and take out these four screws across the back here and we'll see what we got. And your panel is going to tilt back, just lift it straight up off. Okay, here's our control board, here's our relays. And looks like our power okay, here, this black L1, this red right here, L2. So let's uh, turn this back on big. And make sure we got our 240. See, L1. L2. Let's see if we get 240. And we do. Alright, now that we got the bake on, we want to see if we got any voltage here between L1 and bake. So L1 is the black and bake is the yellow wire there. So let's see what we got. So we should have zero volts when the element, when the bake element is on. Okay, so we do have zero, so the element must be on right now because the relay clicked, and when the element is off, because it's going to cycle, that's when the meter should read OL. When I first plugged the, uh, hooked the leads up to the relays there, it said OL, then it clicked. There we go. Here it click. See it OL? Now it went right back, but it should stay off longer than that. The reason why it's cycling back on so quick is because the oven doesn't you know, have any uh, heat in there. The temperature sensor is not sensing anything. So, turn the power up to the board. I'll go ahead and unplug our appliance. And then we'll start removing our screws here and we'll swap out the board. We've got two screws on the left side, two screws on the right side. 
and they're both quarter inch. Let's see if I can bring this in closer. good to take a picture of all your wires beforehand if you're going to swap one out. Some of them only go in one place. For example, this harness. And then we know here on the bottom, this white and then this brown. So the white wire is N for your neutral. And this brown is CF slash OL. These wires over here, they're all color coded. As you can see on the relay, yellow dot of paint or marker, yellow wire, purple, purple wire. Then you got your black wire with nothing. Then you got your orange dot with the orange wire, red dot with the red wire. Pretty uh, self explanatory. Okay, slide this over. And here's our new control board so we'll get this open and also you gotta buy the overlay separate which is this black piece here that uh, goes on or unless your oven's white um, then you would have a white overlay stainless steel um, you're still gonna have a black overlay they're only about 10 11 bucks and it's worth it trying to peel this off and stick it on the new one it's not gonna stick very well now I already have that inside the box here. As I order these, I always put the faceplate there inside with the new board. Here's our new overlay. New control board. That's the top. Okay, we'll get ready to put the face plate over top here before we mount it. Okay, if you look at the bottom of your control board, so your clock's at the top, the bottom here, you got this line right here. And another line right there. You want the bottom of your uh, faceplate basically to rest right on that little ledge and then pretty much center it and then all your lights will line up with your buttons here. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.